beautiful bounce back from uh, the Nifty in today's trade. 210 points to close at 17,432. Not bad at all and uh, good to see that the index played out exactly the way we scripted last evening. Good evening traders. We are on the 2nd of December 2021. It's 11 minutes past 8 p.m. Indian Standard Time and we have a short term bounce back in our hands. Yesterday evening we spoke about that this is a good place both in terms of time and price for the index to post a short term bounce back. Let me uh, explain to you why I said that last evening. So if you look at this movement, this fall of the Nifty closely, we had um, the first leg of fall which was this one. Then there was a, some bit of bounce back and this was the second leg of fall here. And in the second leg of fall, the trend reversal happened from this price, from this zone around 18,000 level which was the psychological 18k mark. And the 18k mark, the break of 18k mark took the index all the way down towards the 17k mark. So we're looking at a thousand point correction. What happened the last time? The previous correction was from around 18,580, around 18,600 all the way down towards 17,600. Interesting. So the index decides to correct in a tune of thousand points twice in this correction. Now when we get this kind of a fall and looking at the way it was volatile down here, it was essentially flushing out the weak hands as it came down. And so it has given us a short term bounce back. Uh, we took a call of the previous supports of 17,350, 17,450, which was earlier supports should now play a role of resistance and it's possible. But the important thing over here is um, we are still in a short term bounce back in, a, in an environment which is in a downtrend. So this is not the time to um, go completely bullish because the market has just gained 210 points. It's just that yesterday's close was ideal, was perfect for this kind of a move. Okay, now that we've got this move, what's coming up next? What's coming up next is should be somewhat a bit of consolidation before it decides whether this move is to go further up or is it's not going to hold and the markets will sell off. So let me try and script this for you. Let's see how it plays out. <clears throat> if you notice, we have uh, a gap here and this is the range where the index manages to close today. This is the that 350, 450 zone, right? So let's take up another 50 points, so 17,500 kind of levels is where the index is likely to slow down. This movement on the 75 minute time frame has gone up consecutive six candles, six bars. So very likely as it approaches towards the 17,450 all the way towards 17,500 in this, in this particular zone, it is likely to slow down. As it slows down, it will give us a short term correction. And when it corrects, it should ideally should not break below this kind of levels, which is 17,340, 300. It should not break below these kind of levels. If it does, then the possibility of a follow through sell off is very, very likely. This is primarily from a perspective of uh, one to two trading sessions. That's tomorrow and Monday. If we if you hold on to tomorrow's trading session and Mondays, this should be how it should play out. If it comes down, holds to these kind of levels, 17,300, 350, and then gives us a move on the upside, then yes, we can expect a further, further upsides in the tone of, I would suggest this previous lows, which was around 17,700, 17,800. So if you are primarily on a, on the bullish side, if you're if you've been trading for so long and you've kind of more comfortable trading on the long side, I will not suggest you to play this this uh, this bounce back that we have in our hands today uh, for the next couple of sessions. I would request you to wait for a short term correction or short term consolidation 
and then the next leg on the on the high side would be much easier for you to trade so strategy wise we will we are in a downtrend we are going through a short term bounce back we will be closely monitoring the health the quality of the short term bounce back my sense is it's going to go a little bit up from here on give us a short term correction and it will tease that 17300 350 mark once more that will be a decider and uh, if that holds you have a 650 750 on hand so play that move towards 650 750 on the other hand on the flip side if it slips below that 350 mark then i would suggest to again go back inside your shell if you're a long trader and do nothing how did the bank nifty play out not as good as the markets as the benchmark nifty the bank nifty was just little less than half a percent up and uh, let me clear this it was a decent decent move which you will have a bit of more clarity from the 75 minute time frame there you go and we were talking about the fact that the bank nifty kind of levels this where the volume profiles if you notice have shown some pretty good cluster is a good support and yes it is a decent support and it is it has bounced back well if i take a volume profile of this recent sell off to today's price i it doesn't support me with relatively high volumes in this area recent fall um so any kind of bounce back from the bank nifty if it even approaches towards that 37000 mark you should look into it with a little pinch of salt you should be a little careful okay bank nifty and the bank still are um are not supporting the index on the other hand they are dragging they have dragged the index and they are not participating in the short term bounce back either so who who are the ones who are participating it is participating it's not breaking below this range i was uh, in fact looking at this uh, stocks like hcl and tcs very closely that whether the bounce back will extend or fall because the the nifty it index looks like it is topping out looks like okay as of now it's still stuck in this range still making lower highs and lower lows we'll see but it participated really well public sector enterprises stocks also did pretty well we have energy the metals but as i click these names as you take a look at these sectoral indices you'll find the drop of the moving average you'll find that most of them are bouncing back from the short term supports so i'll reiterate the sentence that we are still in a short term bounce back in a in a medium term downtrend the quality and health of this short term bounce back needs to be checked over the next 2 3 trading sessions and then only can we uh, show a little bit of uh, uh, you know confidence and guts towards uh, long trades when i say long trades i mean positional long trades you can always do short term intraday intraday and short term one day kind of trades but um, to go bullish to have a bullish view over the next quarter or so this is not not the exact time or price shall we quickly scan the nifty 200 to see if we find any decent setup let's i'm um, sorry the group okay it went away so let's come to nse defined by nse nifty 200 is our universe and we'll load okay this is the other screen so i need to drag it for you so that you can see this InstaView scanners will give us these scans. Run it, the 200 stocks, and we will get some decent names. Hopefully, Torrent Pharma. Ah, nice. I like this inside bar. I like the fact that the stock gave a beautiful uh, sharp rally and a correction, uh, low volume correction, L drop off range, and a nice inside bar. So. move above 3006 in the cash market we can have a bit of movement from the stock alembic doesn't look so good in fact it's stuck in a range as you can see this pretty wide range so not the best of glenmark same story should not dalmia bharat is a bullish harami pattern as well as inside bar 
and looks good above today's high. Bada India, mm, good stock, maybe a short term bounce back, but not as good as Dalmia Bharat. Escorts, uh, I would say clearly spinning tops and dojis one after the other. Had an excellent run on the upside, has not come down at all, sign of a very strong uptrend. Mm, I wouldn't like to chase the stock on the upside from these levels. Hindustan Aeronautics, no, doesn't look that good. Neither does Indian Bank. Well, I like the fact that it has contracted extremely well. It's not a beautiful uh, hammer on the last bar that is today. But yeah, 145 and above, if the index supports, this stock can show us a little bit of strength. But remember, we just discussed that the banks are not participating. So I'm better off with, uh, with Torrent Pharma. I'm better off with uh, Dalmia Bharat. The bullish and the bearish Rami pattern, quite a few of them, but we know all of them are not the true ones. DV's lab, no very shallow short term trend, downtrend. ICICI Bank is it's not in an uptrend, we cannot call it bullish Rami. This looks good. MGL is a very good looking bullish Rami pattern. You can consider this. Glenmark, no. Dixon, no. Sengen, no. Marico, pretty long range bar today. Let's not consider this. Page Industries is also a decent one. This can lead to be a last engulfing, you know, where this is not a not a bearish engulfing because bearish engulfing takes place at the top. But when we see such kind of bearish engulfings at the bottom, they tend to be last engulfings, you know, the opposite. So after the last engulfing, we have a bullish Rami pattern. So this also is interesting, page industries. McDowell, yes, I'll buy that. Looks good. Titan, no, when I say buy that. <laughs> Okay, there's a lot of miscommunication in the market. I, I mean that I, I like the I like the pattern. I like the setup. I buy into the setup. It looks like a good bullish army pattern. Uh, Dr. Reddy, no. Most of these farmer names were in a very wide range, so disregard them. Kolpal, not a bad counter, but has corrected significantly. I like three days back the kind of volumes it picked up. Can be nice accumulations. Good range contraction, beautiful looking bullish army pattern for a short term trader should be encouraging. Alchem, no. Ambuja Chem, no. Bharti Etl, okay. I don't like the fact that the, the range of the baby candle has completely gone outside the range of the mother candle. That's why. Dalmia Bharat, we just spoke, looks, looks encouraging. Dabur, no. The length of yesterday's bar was significantly long. So should not consider this as a very good army pattern. Uh, Nippon Asset Management India, NAM India looks looks good. Yes, possible. Lalpath Labs has given us a trend reversal and then a consolidation. This is by no means is a bullish Rami, but this can be an interesting stock from a medium to long term perspective. Kadila, mm, not bad. Kadila is also a decent bullish Rami pattern, right? Right down here. We can see a last engulfing here as well, which we just noticed sometime back in one of our one of our stocks okay breakouts okay that's a long list apollo no i'm looking at a range breakout from stock which has given us a reliance interesting levels because reliance 2502 2500 2496 so 2500 is your critical breakout level for reliance abfrl no Sun TV, no escorts, as I said, not very comfortable chasing. Z, yes, is a breakout candidate. Adani Green, no. Vedanta, definitely no. Uh, Godrej Properties is trying to bottom out. Oberoi, same story. India Mart, Glenmark, Talmia Bharat, Loras Labs, you can definitely look into this. This guy can also give you a breakout. So, yes, Sun TV, I'm um, sorry, Z. Uh, Loras Labs and Reliance can be good breakout candidates from a short term intraday perspective. DV's Lab, nope. Uh, and next we have Dabur, no. Both of them very long range bar yesterday, so we are ignoring it. Torrent Pharma can be a good Oracle long. On the Oracle short side, we have Maruti, no. Mm, Nokri can be interesting. Nokri, you can look into it, it's in a downtrend. Nokri can be a candidate, so can be Max Financial Services Limited, MGL no, Axis Bank has been weak, REC you can look into, when I say Oracle short, essentially it's an intraday setup where when the stock price falls below today's low, 
it can extend a little bit uh, from a short term perspective for just one days that is on tomorrow's session. So I think amongst the short setups, the ones that stood out was more like uh, MFSL, uh, Nokri. Uh, these are the two that, that stood out really well and REC, these three. So um, it seems like the market's still offering us uh, pretty decent um, opportunities on both the sides. But uh, last day for the week, that's tomorrow and the index should do its best to sustain what it did today. It gained, yes, and for tomorrow, even if you don't gain, but just sustain, I think that's good enough, that's more than enough. And when we talk about sustain, please don't slip below that 17,350 mark. Um, it has a headroom towards 17,500, but look very closely for a short-term dip, for a short-term consolidation, and what happens after that, the leg after that. Anyways, I'll try my best and I'll keep updating you with my views on the market. I hope these videos add value. I'm, I'm really grateful and thank you that uh, those who have shared your views, that you find these videos uh, helpful to decide on the market and your overall trade. Do share your thoughts, your suggestions and feedback. Yeah, keeps me going. Thank you for listening to me. Take care of yourselves. Trade well and trade wise.